Welcome everyone. Today we're going to do a core power flow. So we're just going to really work on engaging through the abs, getting ready for a nice practice. So let's get started just laying on our backs. Maybe letting the arms extend alongside of the body, palms facing up. Relaxing through the feet, through the legs, maybe the feet splay out wide. Starting to find some stillness within the body, softness through the shoulders and really starting to bring the attention to the breath. Noticing the rising and falling of the chest. Good. Maybe counting to three on each inhale and three on each exhale. Good. Couple more deep breaths here bringing the awareness into the space, into the body. Good. And when you're ready, bringing little movements into the body, maybe wigging, wiggling the fingers, the toes. On your next inhale, bringing the right knee into the chest, keeping the left leg extended long, just making little circles with that right knee, and then extending the right leg up towards the sky, interlacing the hands behind the back of the right thigh and guiding the right leg towards the body. Good, maybe pointing and flexing the right toes, staying flexed through the left foot, active through the left leg. Good, and slowly release the right leg and hug the left knee into the chest. Again on this side, maybe making little circles with the knee and then extending the left leg up towards the sky interlacing the hands behind the back of the left thigh. Pointing and flexing through the left foot. Good. And then gently hugging both knees into the chest, rocking from side to side, massaging the lower back. Reaching the arms out to a T, palms facing down. Just gently let the knees drop over to the right side of the body. Good, for a gentle twist here. Still being Nice and easy on the body. Good. Deep breaths here. Opening the shoulders. Slowly coming back through center and dropping the legs over to the left side of the body. Just being mindful here that you're being nice and easy on the body as we're still just really starting to warm up. Good, holding here and then coming back to center with the knees. Good, so the knees are at tabletop position. Hands come behind the head and we're just gonna start up with some bicycle crunches. So bringing the right elbow to the left knee and then switching sides. So trying to keep those knees at 90 degrees throughout these crunches and continuing to stay active through the legs and maybe pointing or flexing also through the toes. Good, so being mindful here not to pull too much on the neck and really engage that lower core. Good, a few more times on each side, moving with your breath. Good, and then release the arms alongside of the body about an inch above the mat. Good, holding here, shoulders are lifted, pointing and flexing the toes. Gently release and pause. Gearing up for opposite leg lifts here, so one leg stays raised and the other drops down, hovering one inch above the mat. So say flex through the feet here, arms are alongside of the body, palms facing down. Good. Left leg lowers and rises and right leg lowers and rises, letting that leg that lowers hover just one inch above of the mat. Good and then slowly bringing your legs together. They both hover and then scissor kick. Good. Couple more breaths. Activate that lower core and then release and hug both knees into the chest, gently rocking from side to side. Let it out. Good. Rocking yourself up to a comfortable cross-legged seat. Good, so in your cross-legged seat, we'll just get ready for some side stretches. So inhale, arms rise. Exhale, bring the right hand to the outside of the right leg and extend the left arm over the head. Actively pressing through the palm that's on the mat, 
bringing the gaze up towards the fingers. Inhale, hands come back to frame the ears and reaching over to the opposite side. Left hand frames the left knee and right arm rises. Good. Back to center, releasing the arms, rolling the shoulders down and back, and then making your way onto hands and knees coming into tabletop position. So just checking out the alignment here, stacking the shoulders directly over the wrists, the hips directly over the knees. On the inhale, dropping the belly, gaze comes towards the sky. And exhale, gaze comes towards the belly, press through the palms, curling the spine. So moving through a couple of these at your own breath here, at your own pace, maybe making gentle circles, maybe sinking through one side and then through the other. Coming back to neutral, lifting the right leg and the left arm, alternate spinal balancing. Inhale to crunch, exhale to extend. Good. Inhale to crunch, exhale to extend, keeping that toe facing down to keep the hips square. One more time. Good. And one more time. Extend. Good. And slowly with control. Release the leg, release the hand. Take one cat cow here just to re-neutralize the spine, getting ready for the opposite side, lifting the left leg and the right arm, staying strong through the left hand. Good. Inhale to crunch, exhale to extend. Inhale to crunch, exhale to extend. Good. Three more times here, moving at the pace of your own breath. Good. Good, and slowly releasing the palm, releasing the knee, and maybe taking a cat-cow just to re-neutralize the spine here before tucking the toes and just lifting the knees one inch off of the mat. So hovering here, really activating that lower core, press through the palms, feel the shoulders broaden. Hold here, focus on the breath. Good, continue to hold one more deep breath in and exhale to shoot the hips up towards the sky, straight and through the legs, coming into your first downward facing dog. So maybe pedaling out the legs here, shaking the head yes, shaking the head no. Good, finding some softness throughout the body, maybe keeping a gentle bend in the legs to really open up that lower back. And then slowly walking your way to the top of the mat. Pause in your forward fold. Inhale to rise, arms come up to frame the ears. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Good. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fall forward over the legs. Gentle bend in the knees, plant the palms on the mat, step back to a plank and pause. Reach back through the heels, stay active through the thighs, the glutes, the legs, and slowly push into downward facing dog. Good. From down dog, rolling forward through plank into upward facing. And exhale to push yourself back into downward facing. Good. Two more times at your own breath, really pulling through those inner thighs, activating that lower belly, and using your breath. Good. One more time. Focus on the breath. Good. Back to down facing dog. Good. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale to step the right foot in between the hands, lower the back knee, inhale, arms rise, and exhale, plant the palms, straighten through the back leg, step back to a plank, and move through your flow. Maybe it's a knees, chest, chin, maybe it's a full chaturanga, just listen to your body. Good, inhale, left leg rises, exhale, step the left foot in between the palms. Back leg lowers, inhale, arms rise, Exhale, plant the palms, lift the back knee, step back to a plank, and move through your flow. Good. So moving with your breath here, maybe it's a little slower, maybe it's a little faster. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale to bring the right knee to the right elbow. Back to three-legged dog. Good. Inhale, right knee to the forehead. Pause here. Exhale, back to three-legged dog. Inhale, right knee to the left elbow. Pause here. Good, back to three-legged dog. Inhale, right knee to the forehead. Hold here, back to three-legged dog, good. Inhale, right knee, right elbow, hold here, and back to three-legged dog. 
right knee to the forehead, and then back to three-legged dog. Good. One more time. Right knee to the left elbow, then extend the right leg. Let the outside of that right foot come onto the floor and push yourself into a fallen triangle. Push the hips up towards the sky. Open the heart. Good. Then plant the left hand and push yourself back into a downward facing dog. Good. Roll forward into a plank and move through your flow. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Good. Getting ready for the opposite side. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, and back to downward facing. Good. Left knee comes to the forehead. Pause here. And back to three-legged dog. Left knee comes to the right elbow. And back to three-legged dog. Left knee comes to the forehead. And back to three-legged dog. Good. Almost there. Left knee comes to the left elbow. Back to three-legged dog. Left knee comes to the forehead. Back to three-legged dog. Good. Left knee comes to the right elbow. Extend through that left leg. Push into the left hand, raising the right arm, and coming into fallen triangle. Push the hips up towards the sky, and then slowly lowering the hand, returning the leg, and making your way from a downward-facing dog into a child's pose for a couple breaths of rest. Good. Maybe flipping the palms up and grabbing for the shoulder blades just to give the arms a bit of a break. Good. Holding here. Good. And making your way back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale to step the right foot in between the palms. Roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale, arms rise up to frame the ears. Good. Bring the arms out to a T and slowly twist over to your right, coming back through center and twisting over to your left, using that core back to center. Good. Hold here. Slowly bring the arms to heart center and twisting to the right, bringing the left elbow to the outside of that right leg. You can also do this with the back knee lowered. Good. Come back through center. Good. Plant the palms on the mat, step back to a plank, and move through your flow. And we'll meet in a downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale to step the left foot in between the palms, roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale, arms rise. Good. Tuck the tailbone, reach through that back leg. Bring the arms out to a T, palm facing down, slowly rotating to the left, back through center, and all the way to the right. Good. Back to center. Pause here. Bringing the palms to heart center, twisting over to the left, hooking the right elbow on the outside of that left thigh. Good. Hold here. Coming back through center. Arms come down to frame the front foot, step back to a plank, and move through your flow. Good. Good. From your downward facing dog, take a deep breath in. Maybe pedal the legs. Good. And then slowly roll forward, coming into a plank. Inhale, right knee, right elbow, back to plank. Left knee, left elbow back to plank, right knee, right elbow, back to plank, left knee, left elbow, back to plank. One more time on each side, continuing to stay in your plank, and then push back into downward facing dog and let it go. Good, walk up to the front of the mat and take a breath in a forward fold. Interlace the hands at the base of the spine, start to straighten through the elbows and let the arms fall forward over the head. Good, focus on the breath here. Release the head, maybe close the eyes. Bringing the hands back to the base of the spine, releasing the palms to the mat. And slowly rising up, arms come up to frame the ears. Hands come to heart center, good. And fold forward over the legs. 
Step the left foot back, the right foot back, and pause in your plank. Making our way into side plank, bring the left palm to the center of the mat, roll onto the outside edge of the left foot, and trying to extend the right arm up. You can also do this with one knee lowered down, and you can also take other variations once you are in side plank, maybe lifting the right leg, or maybe bringing the right arm over the ear. Wherever you are, focus on pushing those hips up towards the sky. Come back through center and get ready for the opposite side. Pressing through the right palm, lifting the left arm, and rolling onto the outside edge of that left foot. Good. Taking whatever variation you did on the opposite side on this side as well. Good. Come back to center, move through your flow, and we'll meet in a downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, inhale, right leg rises and exhale, right knee, right elbow, hold here, and then slowly lowering down to the floor, coming into pigeon. Good, so the closer that right foot is to the groin, the more gentle the stretch is. So maybe coming down onto the forearms or maybe staying up on the tense of the fingertips, whatever is right for the body today. Good. And then slowly coming back up, pressing yourself back into downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Pause here. Then lowering the leg to the mat and coming into pigeon on the opposite side. Good. Maybe coming down onto the forearms here. Or maybe staying up on the tents of the fingertips. Wherever you are, starting to find some stillness throughout the body. Maybe closing the eyes, letting the head become heavy. Good. And slowly pressing back into the palms, rolling onto the outside edge of the left thigh and bringing the legs in front of the body straight. And then slowly inhale, arms rise, and exhale to hinge at the hips and fall forward over the legs. Good. Inhale, chest rises. Exhale to roll all the way on to the back. Coming for a brief Shavasana, just let the feet splay out wide, palms face up towards the sky, starting to relax and find some stillness throughout the body. Noticing the inhales and exhales.